The Death Knight's long haft axe is a golden great axe in Elden Ring. It is one of the best weapons added in Elden Ring DLC, Shadow of the Earth Tree. This great axe scales with strength, dexterity, and faith, deals physical and lightning damage, is one of the best weapons for strength and faith build. Additionally, the weapon skill Blink Bot, Long Hafted Axe, is a gap closer that also has eye frame. That means you can use it to dodge enemies' attack and follow up with powerful lighting smite. It's a must-have weapon for you. This guide will give you a detailed walkthrough of how to acquire this weapon. The weapon is located in Scorpion River Catacombs. The closest side of Greece is Ravine North. The location is very hidden, so I will show you how to get here from the Moot Ruins side of Greece. But of course, if you have already unlocked Ravine North, Please skip this part and jump to the next timestamp. Starting from the Moth Ruins, heading northeast, very soon we will reach a lake under the moonlight. Right into the lake and look to the north, we can find a America statue. Behind the statue is an opening to a cave. Follow the path in the cave, pass by a few flowers and a small earth tree. We should reach a large poison lake area. Carefully past the poison lake to the northwest, exit the cave. Eventually, we will arrive at Rao Base, an ancient ruin base side of Greece. From here, head towards southwest and there will be two stone golems ahead of us. Carefully avoid the attacks. Behind the second golem, turn right. There is an opening leading us into the valley. Continue following the path until we can exit from the other side. Following the water on the right side towards northwest, on a small hill, we will find the Ravine North, Saddle Grace. From the Grace, jump down into the water and continue northwest. It's easy to identify that we are on the Scorpion River by the flying scorpions around us. Continue on until the end of the river and the catacombs should be right in front. Here is where it is on the map. Before you start exploring the catacombs, make sure you have a few rejuvenating boluses at hand. They will save our lives in this dungeon. The dungeon is long and full of terror. I will show you the quickest way to the destination. You can also explore afterwards for a few other precious loot. When you see the giant eyes, make sure to run out of the sight as soon as you can. Their stare will inflict death ailment. When reaching this room with blood on the floor, wait just outside a bit for a trap to drop. When it does, quickly run across the room and turn right. There is another trap here, so make sure to get into the safe location here. Clear your death blind and climb up the ladder. Get ready to sprint to the right and run away from another pair of death eyes. From here, an elevator will take us down to America's statue. This is our checkpoint. Continue to run deeper into the dungeon, turn right, and a pair of death eyes will pass us. We should quickly clear this hallway before it turns back. Turn right and then left, entering the next room and beware of ambushes.
when you reach a larger room with a balcony above, make sure you are cleared of death blind buildup and run for the exit to the southeast. Go up the stairs, we will be met with a final pair of moving eyes. Run through it and turn to southeast. Another elevator will take us down to the lowest level. Ahead of us is the boss room. Get ready for a quite fun fight against the Death Knight. Killing him will be rewarded with Death Knight's Long Half Axe, as well as the Cerulean Ember Medallion Plus 3. Now there we have it, you have acquired Death Knight's Long Half Axe. This weapon is very fun to play and also deals great damage. It does fulfill my Holy Smite Paladin fantasy. Now I hope you find this guide useful. Please leave a like and subscribe for future content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.